starting with minor offenses and going all the way up to $200 million, I present to you... And for example number one, we have the notorious Nintendo lawsuit. This was a lawsuit that took place in late 2016, and the whole lawsuit had to do with one thing, copyright. You see, Nintendo are the copyright owners of Pokemon and Mario. This basically means that only Nintendo is able to distribute any content with these two brands in them. Well, also around this time, a lot of Pokemon and Mario inspired games were getting released onto Roblox. Games such as Pokemon Brick Bronze and Roblox Mario Kart were attracting thousands of players, and since Roblox didn't ask for permission, Nintendo threatened to take legal action. They ordered for these games to be taken down, Roblox agreed, and banned everything on the website that was owned by Nintendo, including Pokemon and Mario games. Next, we have the Kim Kardashian lawsuit. Okay, so admittedly this lawsuit is more of a weird meme, but I figured I might as well put it on the list anyway. If you don't know who Kim K is, she's basically just a massive reality TV star, and in one of her newest TV shows, her son was apparently playing Roblox and accidentally came across some inappropriate photos of her in-game. After this incident, Kim started to get understandably upset on Roblox and then proceeded to say that she would be suing Roblox because of what had happened. Oh, well then we're suing them. Now the reason people don't really take this lawsuit seriously is because there's no real evidence that this actually happened. You see, the TV show that this was on is called The Kardashians and it is a reality TV show. If you don't know, reality TV show is fake and is actually scripted. This most likely means that the whole incident was set up just to make the episode more interesting. Next, we have the Roblox Lamborghini lawsuit. This was a lawsuit that took place in October 2022. What happened was many Roblox games were using Lamborghini's car models and ultimately caught the attention of the actual company who forced Roblox to ban and delete anything related to Lambos on the website. Ah uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next, we're jumping up the scales and increasing the seriousness with Doll v Roblox, which is probably one of the biggest Roblox lawsuits of all time. In fact, there's a very high chance that this lawsuit actually affects you. This lawsuit basically accused Roblox of conducting fraudulent activity by allowing avatar items to be up for purchase on Roblox, but then later taking them down and not refunding players. I mean, I think we've all been in a situation like this before. Basically, this was a class action lawsuit filed on Roblox. A class action lawsuit basically means that it is targeting everyone who is affected and hasn't got a refund. Now, as of 2023, I'm not entirely sure what the outcome of this lawsuit was, but a while back I have seen messages from Roblox saying that I'm getting refunded for deleted clothing items, which most likely means that Roblox has agreed to reimburse players. Next, we have the Oof Sound lawsuit. This lawsuit took place in early 2020, and it all started when the original creator of the Oof Sound, Tommy Tallarico, started to come out and demand Roblox for fair compensation for their use of his sound. You see, Roblox didn't actually create the Oof Sound. The original Oof Sound came from a game Tommy made called Messiah. <coughs> Now all Roblox had to do here was pay Tommy, and judging by some of his tweets, he wasn't asking for an unreasonable amount of money. Of course though, Roblox said no, stating that they had come across the sound on some illegal website way back in 2007, and that they didn't feel the need to have to pay anyone. Eventually however, instead of paying Tommy, Roblox just decided to remove the oof sound completely, much to the despair of many players. Next, we have the biometric Roblox lawsuit. Basically, this lawsuit was filed by the parents of a child against Roblox in February of 2022, and it has to do with Roblox's age verification for voice chat. You see, when collecting people's biometric data, such as facial scans, 
companies have to comply with some terms. Number one, they have to get permission from users. Number two, they have to store the data safely. And number three, they have to delete the data in a timely manner. According to this child's parent, Roblox failed to get written consent and didn't delete any of the data in an efficient way. That's pretty much it. Okay, next we have the Roblox Endangerment of Children lawsuit. This was a lawsuit that took place in 2021. To put things short, Roblox was sued by a parent for supposedly endangering their daughter. The mum stated that Roblox was enabling predators onto the platform and putting the well-being of all children at risk. She even went on to state that thanks to Roblox, her daughter was abused and blackmailed for months. Furthermore, the mum stated that Roblox was showing inappropriate content to her daughter in certain 18 plus games such as condos and etc. I mean, I think we all know that Roblox has a history with inappropriate stuff sneaking their way onto the platform. I mean, you got Meep City parties, condo games and much more. Roblox moderation is pretty bad and this is only another consequence of that. Next, we have the Cinema v Roblox lawsuit. This was a lawsuit that took place in 2016 and it's very different from some of the other lawsuits we have talked about. To summarize things, Cinemark basically accused Roblox of using Cinemark's logo in a negative and bad light. They claimed that there were Roblox games using Cinemark's logo to reenact the 2012 Aurora shooters, which if true is just really messed up. They also claimed that thanks to these games, Cinemark's reputation was severely damaged and they even suffered a loss of sales. Ultimately, Roblox simply deleted everything with the Cinemark logo on it. For the next example, we have a bit of a different case. We have the LEGO v Roblox incident. Now, this is actually a common misconception that LEGO sued Roblox and technically this actually never happened, but I thought I might as well go over what actually did happen. You see, back when Roblox was first starting in 2007, their bricks used to be circular, like this. Now out of the blue one day, Roblox decided to completely revamp their bricks, and now, instead of using circular studs, use square studs like this. Now this move was most likely done to avoid a lawsuit from LEGO, but fun fact, in 2007, Roblox actually went up to LEGO, asking if they wanted Roblox to be the official game representing LEGO. Unsurprisingly, LEGO denied, as Roblox wasn't successful back then, and at the time, they were working on their own game. Next, we have the Devo lawsuit incident. Basically, in September of 2009, Roblox released a hat based on the band Devo and started selling it for 50 tickets. The original band saw this and forced Roblox to take it down, which they did. Basically, more copyright stuff. That's pretty much it. Next, we have the false advertising drama. If you don't know, Roblox used to allow advertisers to place adverts on the Roblox platform. This feature was always a controversial one, as you need to remember that Roblox's demographic are mostly children. And when it comes to advertising to children, a bunch of laws come into place. Well, on April 19th, 2022, Truth in Advertising filed a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission, alleging that Roblox completely shrinked its responsibility when it comes to moderating ads and following advertising laws. In fact, if you go onto tina.org, you can see that they are still trying to take legal action on Roblox and there's a whole article dedicated to this. Before we get to the $200 million lawsuit, we have the political ban in the UAE. This whole incident started on May 17th, 2018, when the UAE Eternal General ordered for Roblox to be entirely banned in the United Arab Emirates saying that Roblox was damaging children's health. They basically stated that Roblox was an uneducational game and that it wasn't appropriate for children to be playing it. This ban on Roblox lasted for literally over three years and eventually on March 11th, 2021, the ban was removed. 
Most likely, the main reason the ban was removed is thanks to Roblox going public and entering the stock market. Many players in the UAE most likely wanted to invest in Roblox, and that was probably a contributing factor to the removal of the ban. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. We have the National Music Publishers Association vs Roblox lawsuit. This lawsuit was the biggest lawsuit ever in Roblox history at a whopping $200 million. The main reason for this lawsuit comes back again to copyright. Basically, the point of concern for this lawsuit is the Roblox audio library. You see, ever since the creation of the audio library, users on Roblox have been uploading many popular songs onto the platform for people to use in-game and listen to. Well, some massive music artists such as Ariana Grande, Ed Sheeran, Dead Mal 5, and etc. all decided to come together to take Roblox to court for adding their music onto the platform without permission. They stated that Roblox actively preys on the impressionable user base and their desire for popular music, teaching children that pirating music is perfectly acceptable. I mean, I think we can all agree that this is a bit of a stretch, but with that, we come to the end of the first category. For the next category, we have the times that Roblox has purposely gone out of their way to sue companies and individuals. Firstly, we have probably the most notorious lawsuit that Roblox has ever filed. Of course, I'm talking about the time Roblox decided to sue a YouTuber. I think we all know about the Ruben Sim vs Roblox lawsuit. If you don't know, Ruben Sim is a YouTuber that makes videos exposing and showing the bad side of Roblox. And in November of 2022, Roblox decided to sue Ruben Sim for over $1.6 million in charges. Roblox stated that Ruben Sim was the leader of a cyber mob and accused him of taking down Roblox's RDC event. Roblox also accused him of a bunch of much more serious stuff, such as predatory behavior, uploading nude photos of himself to the website, abusing Roblox staff members, and much more. But all of these claims were proven to be false. Eventually, however, they both came to an agreement, and all Rubinson had to do was pay $150,000 in legal charges, as well as never play Roblox ever again. The next example of Roblox suing someone actually happened not too long ago. I think we all know about the condo issue on Roblox. On the website, there are so many condo games that have been bypassed and are just lurking on the website. Well, this is the first time Roblox actually decided to do something about it. Recently, Roblox sent a cease and desist letter to one major condo game maker. In the cease and desist letter, Roblox forced the creator to cease uploading to Roblox any content, including condo games, that depicts or suggests sexual acts or nudity. After receiving this letter, the creator of these condo games did cease action, which is definitely a step in the right direction for Roblox. Lastly, we have the Wowee v Roblox lawsuit. This lawsuit happened in about July of 2022, and if you don't know, Wowee is a toy company that produces and distributes minifigure dolls. They recently came up with a new collection called Other Stars, and the dolls look awfully similar to Roblox characters. Basically, Roblox thought so too, and after some more back and forth, Roblox ultimately decided to take them to court, stating that Wowee admittedly copied Roblox's wildly successful avatar intellectual property to create and sell a line of physical dolls to exploit Roblox investment, creative efforts, and popularity in the marketplace for their own profit. The case is still currently ongoing, and as of right now, Avastars are still available to be bought from the Wowee website. And with that, we get to the end of the list. Of course, if there are any other lawsuits that I did miss, let me know in the comments and I might make a follow-up video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.